Did you know that there are some unusual restrictions in Russia? Yes, you heard it right. The vast nation of Russia, known for its rich history, diverse culture and distinct laws, has some unexpected regulations that might raise an eyebrow or two. Let's start the world of sports. In Russia, spectators at sports events can face fines for inappropriate behavior. This includes actions like hurling objects onto the field or using offensive language. The objective? To maintain a respectful and enjoyable environment for everyone at the event. Moving on, let's delve into the realm of toys. In certain areas of Russia, you need a license to own and use toy guns. This regulation aims to prevent misunderstandings and ensure public safety. Imagine needing official permission to play with a toy gun. Next up is a regulation that intersects with faith and public spaces. Religious preaching in public places requires a license in some regions of Russia. This has been implemented to regulate and control religious activities, ensuring they align with the local laws and societal norms. Now, for the fashion enthusiasts, here's something you might find interesting. In 2015, a law was proposed in Russia to fine women who walk in high heels near historical monuments. The rationale behind this proposal was to preserve the integrity of these monuments. Russia also has laws targeting unhealthy food advertising those aimed at children. This is seen as an effort to tackle public health issues like obesity. So, if you're planning to market your candy brand in Russia, you might want to think twice. Lastly, there's a regulation that has made headlines, the control over the length of skirts on television. Reports suggest that Russian authorities have imposed restrictions on the skirt lengths of TV presenters considering it part of an effort to preserve traditional values. And, if you thought that was all, think again. Even swearing in public can result in administrative sanctions under the laws of inappropriate behavior. Stay tuned to discover more about these intriguing restrictions. From sports events to TV studios, from toy stores to historical monuments, it seems that Russia has a unique approach to regulations, making it a fascinating country to explore. If you're enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Ever thought of hurling an object onto a sports field in Russia? Think again. Russia has strict laws that govern behavior at sporting events. Spectators can face hefty fines for inappropriate actions, such as throwing objects onto the field. This is not only for the safety of the players but also to ensure a respectful atmosphere for everyone enjoying the game. And it's not just about physical actions. Using offensive language is also a no-go. The authorities take the use of such language seriously, and those found guilty could end up paying a fine. The aim is to promote a culture of respect and sportsmanship, not just towards the players, but also amongst the spectators themselves. So, next time you're at a sports event in Russia, remember to cheer for your team, but do it respectfully. Remember your actions at a sporting event could cost you more than just your dignity. In parts of Russia you might need a license to own a toy gun. Now this might sound a bit excessive but let's delve into the rationale behind this regulation. Picture this. A child playing with a toy gun in a park, an innocent activity, right? But from afar it can be mistaken for a real firearm potentially leading to misunderstandings or even security alerts. To prevent such incidents and ensure public safety, some regions in Russia have introduced this unique law. Here's how it works. Anyone wishing to own or use a toy gun must first obtain a license. This involves a process similar to that of acquiring a license for a real firearm, including background checks and safety training. The aim is to reduce the risk of any potential confusion or threat, ensuring that a child's playtime doesn't turn into a public safety concern. So, even if it's just a toy, you might need a license to play. Spreading religious messages in public, not so fast. In certain regions of Russia, if you're looking to share your faith with the masses, you might need to secure a license first. This legislation, though not universally applied, exists in some areas as a way to regulate and control religious activities. Why you might ask? Well the idea is to maintain public order and prevent any potential conflicts that might arise from differing religious views. So if you're planning on delivering a sermon at the local park or handing out religious pamphlets on the streets, you might want to check the local laws first. It's all about ensuring that every voice has a chance to be heard but in a manner that respects the rights and beliefs of others. So remember, if you're in Russia, public preaching is a regulated activity so make sure you have the right permits. Ladies, think twice before slipping on those high heels near historical monuments in Russia. In the year 2015, a unique proposal surfaced in the Russian legal landscape. The proposition? To impose fines on women who strut their high heels near historical monuments. Now you might be wondering why such a peculiar law. Well it all comes down to preservation. 
the lawmakers behind this proposal that the integrity of these historical treasures was at risk. They argued that the pointed heels could cause damage to the monuments, especially those with delicate surfaces. The idea was to safeguard these timeless relics from the wear and tear of modern fashion trends. So, next time you're planning a stylish stroll around Russia's historic sites remember, your fashionable stilettos might just be a little too edgy for the taste of preservationists. Preserving historical monuments might come with a hefty price for your choice of, if you're finding these facts interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. Fast food ads could be a rare sight in Russia soon. That might sound strange to some but, there's a reason behind it. In recent years, there has been a growing concern about the impact of unhealthy food advertisements, especially those designed to appeal to the younger generation. To tackle this issue, Russian lawmakers have proposed laws aimed at curtailing the advertising of unhealthy foods. The goal is not just to limit the reach of these advertisements, but also to guide the public, particularly children, towards healthier food choices. Now you might wonder, why is this happening? The answer lies in a global health concern, obesity. Childhood obesity in particular has been on the rise, and it's a trend that's not limited to Russia. Many factors contribute to this problem but one key aspect that can't be ignored is the influence of advertising. Picture this. An appealing, colorful ad showcasing a juicy burger or a crispy packet of chips. It's hard for anyone not to be tempted, let alone a child, and that's exactly the challenge. These advertisements can shape dietary preferences from a young age, creating a taste for high-sugar, high-fat foods that can lead to health issues later in life. The proposed laws in Russia aim to break this cycle. By limiting the exposure to unhealthy food advertising they hope to promote healthier eating habits. This isn't about taking away the freedom to choose but rather about creating an environment that makes the healthier choice the easier choice. Of course this is a complex issue and there are many factors at play. Not everyone agrees with this approach. Some argue that it limits business opportunities and infringes on the freedom of speech. But if these laws are passed, they could potentially set a precedent for other countries battling similar health issues. In Russia, what you eat might be influenced by what you're allowed to see. It's a bold move and only time will tell if it's the right one. But one thing is for sure, it's a step towards tackling a global health issue that affects us all. Even the length of a TV presenter's skirt can be subject to regulations in Russia. Yes, you heard it right. This fascinating aspect of Russian regulation has caught the attention of many. Reports suggest that authorities have stepped in to dictate the fashion choices of TV presenters, specifically the length of their skirts. The reason behind this unique regulation preserving traditional values. Russia, a nation that prides itself on its rich history and deep-seated traditions, considers this regulation an important step towards upholding these values. These regulations, while intriguing to outsiders, underscore the country's commitment to its cultural heritage. From this perspective, the length of a TV presenter's skirt is not just a fashion choice but a statement of cultural identity. It's a nod to tradition, a reflection of values, and a testament to the country's resolute adherence to its roots. In Russia, traditional values might dictate your wardrobe choices even on television. Watch your language while in Russia or you might have to pay. That's not an old wives tale but a real law on the Russian books. Under the umbrella of laws regulating inappropriate behavior, there exists a provision that may catch some foreign visitors off guard. This law imposes administrative sanctions for those who swear or use coarse language in public. In the spirit of maintaining decorum and public order, the law aims to curb the use of profanity in public spaces. If you're caught dropping F-bombs or any other expletives, you could find yourself slapped with a fine. This isn't just a token gesture either. The fines can be quite substantial, depending on the severity and context of the offense. It's a fascinating aspect of Russian legislation that underscores the country's commitment to public decorum and respect for others. So, when you're enjoying the sights and sounds of Russia, keep in mind to keep your language clean. So mind your language and enjoy your stay in Russia. Now that we've unveiled some of the most unusual restrictions in Russia, let's take a moment to recap. From the sporting arenas to the historic monuments, there are rules that may seem out of the ordinary to outsiders. Remember, you'll need to be on your best behavior at sports events or face fines for inappropriate conduct. Toy guns aren't child's play, as they require licenses in certain areas. Public preaching isn't a free-for-all either, with licenses required in some regions. Ladies leave your high heels at home when visiting historical monuments to avoid fines. And advertisers beware of promoting unhealthy foods, especially to children. 
If you're a TV presenter, skirt lengths are under scrutiny, all to preserve traditional values. And lastly, mind your language in public or face administrative sanctions. Remember, when in Russia, abide by their rules, no matter how unusual they may seem.